with the third part of the lecture on survival distributions and life tables. So for this third part, we're going to discuss two more sections, the section on fraction assumptions on fractional age and some analytical laws of mortality. So let's begin with fractional age assumptions. Okay, now our life tables, the functions that we introduced in the previous section, like small l sub x or small d sub x or some probabilities like p sub x and q sub x were defined on the assumption that x are integral values, are integer values. Okay, now what happens if we want to find the function values of these functions at x plus s, where x is an integer and s is a fraction. So s is a number between 0 to 1. Okay, so in order to answer this, or in order to find the values of such functions, we need to make assumptions regarding fractional ages. So this section will define those fractional age assumptions. We will consider three of these, the, the uniform death distribution, or which we call the UDD, the constant force of mortality, and the Balducci hypothesis. Okay, these are also uh, respect, respectively called the linear. So the UDD is the linear assumption. The constant force of mortality is the exponential assumption, and the Balducci is the hyperbolic assumption. Okay, now suppose x is an integer. And t is a real number such that t is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1. The survival functions for these three fractional age assumption, assumptions are as follows. So under UDD, the, the, the value of s of x plus t is t is 1 minus t times s of x plus t times s of x plus 1. Remember that x is an integer and t is between 0 to 1 inclusive. So the uniform death distribution survival function is defined this way. For the constant force of mortality, s of x plus t is defined as s of x times e raised to mu t, where mu is defined as negative log of p sub x. Remember that log is the natural log function. And the Balducci hypothesis, uh, what we have here is the, re the, the reciprocal of the survival function, so that's 1 over s of x plus t, is equal to 1 minus t all over s of x plus t all over s of x plus 1. Okay? So we have the survival functions for the UDD and the constant force of mortality assumption. And here we have the reciprocal of the survival function Okay, for these three fractional age assumptions. Now this gives us the, the values of some probability statements as well as the force of mortality under these two fractional age assumptions. So we're assuming that x is an integer. It must be a positive integer, okay? And then uh, s and y are assumed to be both fractional, so between 0 and 1 inclusive, as well as t. I think we didn't write t. t and s and y, actually there's no s. It should be t and y are between 0 and 1 inclusive. So TQX under UDD is T times QX, okay? Under the constant force of mortality, it's 1 minus E to the negative mu T. Under Balducci is P sub X all over 1 minus the quantity 1 minus T times QX. And of course, you have the, 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 the value of TPX, which is... 1 minus TQX in the next row. And then you have Y of PX plus T. Take note that T as well as Y are fractional. So under UDD, under constant force of mortality, 
And under Balducci, these are your expressions for that. And then you have the force of mortality mu sub x of t to be qx all over 1 minus t times qx under udd to be equal to the constant mu under the constant force of mortality. That's why it's called such uh, in such a way. And we note that mu is actually negative log of p sub x. And under Balducci, it's q sub x all over 1 minus 1 minus t qx. And then we have the PDF of t, uh, tpx times mu sub x of t is qx under the udd e to the negative mu t times mu under the constant force of mortality. And we have this expression under Balducci. Okay, so let's illustrate how these are used. Suppose the value of s of 40 in a certain table is given as 0.7746 and s of 41 is 0.7681. We want to find this value, mu sub 40 at 1 fourth. Okay, so using... The three assumptions, so firstly under the UDD, so mu sub 40 of 1 fourth is equal to this under UDD. So we just plug in the values, right? Uh, remember that Q sub T is 1 minus P sub T, right? And P sub T is S of T plus 1 all over S of T. So we end up with this result, okay? Under the constant force of mortality, under Balducci, mu sub 40 of 1 fourth is q sub 40 all over 1 minus quantity 1 minus 1 fourth q sub 40. So we get the following value, 0 0.00844. And under the constant force of mortality, we note that this is just mu, which is log of P sub 40. This is negative log of P sub 40. We forgot the negative sign there. So this is negative log of this. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, 41 all over S of 41 all over S of 40. Yes, so this gives us 0 0.00843. So if you compare, they are correct. All of them are similar up to four decimal places for this particular example. Okay. Now, let's show in, in the table earlier, we said that TQX is equal to T times QX under the UDD assumption. And to show why that is so... It's not very difficult. It, it, we note that TQX is defined this way in terms of the survival function. So it's S of X minus S of X plus T all over S of X. And then we note that T is fractional. So using the UDD assumption, we replace S of X plus T with this. Okay, so that's quantity 1 minus T times S of X plus t times s of x plus 1. And then, we simplify the numerator. So, s of x cancels out. We're left with t s of x. And then, we have negative t s of x plus 1. Okay? And then, we note that this is actually 1 qx or just qx times t. So, t qx is t times qx under the UDD assumption, okay? Now, under the constant force of mortality assumption, we said that mu sub x of t is equal to mu, where mu is negative log of p sub x. So again, we note that the force of mortality in terms of the survival function is defined as following. It's negative, the derivative of S of X plus T with respect to T all over S of X plus T. And then we plug in how S of X plus T is defined under the UDD assumption. And then we 
differentiate the numerator with respect to t. So this is s of x times the derivative of e to the u. So that's e to the u t, uh, e to the mu t times negative mu. And clearly, all of this will cancel out. And we get mu as a result. Okay? So the constant force, under the constant force of mortality, mu sub x of t is equal to the constant mu. Okay? Now, let's talk about some... Uh, 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 loss of mortality, okay? We will consider three basic ones. The first one is Demovier's law. Under Demovier's, we it suggests that the small sub, uh, the L sub x function is a linear function in x. So that means L sub x is equal to k times omega minus x, where omega is the limiting h, okay? But, of course, since we know that L sub x is equal to L sub 0 times S of x, so under Demovier's law, the survival function takes the following form. So we know that this is equal to L sub x all over L sub o, and then plugging in how L sub x is defined under Demovier's, so L sub x is this, L sub 0, this would be 0, so that would just be k omega, and so we end up with 1 minus x over omega. So under the Mauvier's, the survival function of x is equal to 1 minus x over omega, where omega is the limiting age. So then this x must be between 0 to omega. Okay? 0 to omega. And of course, the corresponding force of mortality, using this definition for the constant force of, uh, for the force of mortality given the survival function. So this is negative derivative with respect to x of the survival function under the Mauvier's, which is 1 minus x over omega, all over the survival function under the Mauvier's, which is 1 minus x all over omega. So we differentiate the numerator with respect to x. We end up with 1 over omega, but it's negative, right? And then you have a negative there. So this reduces to 1 over omega minus x. <clears throat> so the constant force of mortality under the Mauvier's is 1 over omega minus x. I think I forgot to write down in both cases that x must be between 0 and omega. Okay? 0 and omega. So under the Mauvier's, these are your survival function and your force of mortality. The next law is the Comfort's law. So under Comfort's, it is assumed that man's power to resist death decreases at a rate proportional to itself. He also claimed that death is caused by aging. Okay? Death is caused by aging. So, given this, if we consider mu of x to represent man's susceptibility to death, then it's reciprocal. 1 over mu of x represents man's resistance to death. Okay? And given the assumption of Gompertz that uh, man's power to resist death decreases as, at a rate proportional to itself, then in, in mathematical terms, it's going to be denoted by this. So the derivative of man's resistance to death is equal to negative h times man's resistance to death, okay? Proportional to itself. But then, of course, h would be the constant of proportionality. And the negative is because we, we said that it's decreasing, that the, the resistance is decreasing with h, okay? So the derivative of 1 over mu of x is equal to negative h times 1 over mu of x where h is the constant of proportionality, okay? From here, we can get an expression for the force of mortality following Gompert's law by doing the following. So from this equation here, we can rewrite this in, a, in a, an equivalent form this way. 
right? And then if we integrate both sides with respect to x, if you look at the left-hand side, this is just the derivative of u all over u, where u is 1 all over mu of x. So the derivative of that, uh, the integral of that, the integral of d over u is actually log of u. So you have log of 1 over mu of x. The left, the right side, you integrate x, so you have with a constant, so this is negative hx plus an arbitrary constant. We're going to write the constant as negative log of b, okay? So this is your arbitrary constant, okay? And then, this equation here is actually equivalent to this, right? Mu of x is equal to e raised to hx plus log of b. But then this is e raised to log of b, which gives you b, times e raised to hx, which we can write as bc to the x. So this shows that the force of mortality under Gompertz take the following form, b times c to the x, where c is a constant that is equal to e to the h, okay? And b is that constant taken from here, okay? So the force of mortality under Gompertz is b times c to the x, where c and b are constants, and c is actually e to the h, and h is the constant of proportionality in our definition. Now, to get the, so the survival function for Gompertz, so we know that s of x is defined this way in terms of the force of mortality. We plug in the force of mortality under Gompertz, so we just evaluate this integral, so that gives us b times c to the s all over log of c where x ranges from 0 to x. So then you factor out the constant negative b log of c while you have quantity c to the x minus 1, the negative of that. So in other words, the survival function under Gompertz is equal to e raised to negative m times quantity c to the x minus 1 where m is the constant equal to b all over log of c. Okay? The third one is just an extension of Gompertz, the Makeham's law. The Makeham's law incorporates an, accident, an accidental hazard rate cause of death, which is not included in Gompertz. So Gompertz says that death is by is through aging. Makeham said it's not only that, but also you need to add an accidental hazard rate. So this gives us the force of mortality under Makeham's law. So you have A plus BC to the X, where BC to the X uh, uh, captures the, 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 the cause of dying by age, and A captures the accidental hazard rate. Okay, and doing what we did earlier, we will end up with the survival function for makeup to be as follows. It's e to the negative quantity ax plus m times quantity c to the x minus 1, where again m is b all over log of c. Okay, and I think that's all. That's all of chapter uh, this chapter on survival function and uh, its distributions and life table, life table and life table functions as well. Okay. Thank you.